What is good, y'all? John B. Saunders here. I hope all is well. Today, I'm talking about niching down. This is actually part two of my video where I talk about a specific niche that we're in that does really well and the strategy behind it. I'm also throwing in a few freebies as well as a free clonable for Webflow. So stay tuned. Let's dive in. jump right into this i'm really excited to showcase this niche because as you know i'm always talking about the riches are in the niches <clears throat> you can watch that video right here um but in the meantime i want to show you this cool kind of dynamic we've taken uh with clientele so let me show you all what we got so as you know this is our agency website but what we've added is another specific niche on top of that so we've recently launched five for indie and five for indie is a platform where we create dope one page websites for indie video games. So as a gamer myself, pretty much my whole life, I remember blowing into Nintendo cartridges as a kid, owning my skills in Street Fighter. I've always wanted to be in the gaming industry somehow. And so I was able to leverage my creativity and join a web design agency and then start my own about seven years ago called 5.4 Digital. Now, in the meantime, I've been wanting to break into the video game industry. And so I thought about how I could do that. Now, what we do is we actually create websites and brand identities for startups. That's pretty much our niche. So that being our niche, I thought about, okay, well, if I can break into the video game industry somehow, I can leverage my existing skills by doing that. So first thing I did was I actually created a video game website template. So my first tip, of course, today is to think about if you're looking to break into a niche, how you can provide value to that niche to be able to leverage that work. So what I did was I created a template for video games because I saw that Webflow, the web design um, platform, didn't have many templates for the video game industry. So I figured, let me go ahead and make one for indie games. So I made this uh, template over the course of a couple months and I actually submitted it to the Webflow platform. It got approved and it went live. And I was really excited and really great to see um, what happened here. Now off the bat and complete transparency, I didn't get a ton of sales on this template, but one sale that came in was actually from a video game company and they reached out to me specifically and said hey we're an indie game company we loved your template but we'd like you to build out a custom website for us so when they told me that i was like oh word let's go and so uh when that happened let me go back so you can actually see what i'm talking about i was able to actually go ahead and build out a website for them. It was a one pager, they wanted to start small. So we started with a one pager for their new product called Subnautica, which is a new game coming out called Subnautica Below Zero. And so we made this custom website build out for them in Webflow and they loved it. They've been getting a ton of pre-sales. And so once we did the template and then I did this, I was like, yo, this was really a lot of fun to create. And so with that being said, I was like, okay, I have an idea, let's see what we can do, and let's see if we can make this work. So I figured we can create a niche where we can help um, indie game companies create a landing page for their product, and then when they create that landing page, they can either get pre-sales, sell, because one thing I saw was a lot of these video game companies do not have a great web presence. You know, they're so focused on creating an amazing game that they don't have the time to allocate to creating a great landing page. Because essentially, when you have a great game, it sells itself. And Subnautica was in that bucket. People love the game. So we had the opportunity to actually create this landing page for them, which was a lot of fun. So once that happened, I was like, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a sub niche at our agency. So we're still using our same skills, but now we're able to leverage those skills for an industry that we're super passionate about, that we're excited about, and about excited as we are when we work on startup projects. Because essentially, an indie game company is similar to that. So just to give you a recap of the things that you need for any one-page kind of lander that you're looking to create is, of course, powerful title copy. You need subcopy here as well. You need a clear call to action. This get started takes you straight to the form. And I've integrated this form on Zapier. So as soon as that form inquiry comes in, it drops into Asana, they get an automatic email inquiry, and we're off to the race. Then I added a, a fun kind of dynamic feel to it. You know, we have the old, the retro version with the kind of old typography and throwback look and feel. And then we have the new school version, which is, you know, for the more modern kind of gamer. And I thought this was kind of a fun dynamic that we could play around with to create this out. 
So just to give you an idea and an overview of what you'll need on a page like this is, of course, a powerful title, you know, um, sub content here, uh, maybe some social proof as well, some reviews, and then kind of break down the process, but keep it simple. You know, the biggest differentiator and the unique selling proposition we have with this is that we can help a video game company build out their website in, you know, little to just days, right? Before we're using platforms where we had to do a completely custom build out that would take long. Now we can do a custom build out using Webflow, leveraging that to create a quick landing page so that they can start to capture leads, they can sell pre-sales or whatever they're trying to do. Instead of, you know, while they're working on the game and sitting in limbo, they're able to leverage these tools that we have. Also, we have a, a few more items in social proof here, as well as our work, and then a few images as well, and then the footer. And of course, we're official Webflow partner. So this was a lot of fun creating this page, this lander, and we're hoping that we get some work from it. I'll keep you all posted on that. And uh, I actually wanted to share one more thing with you. For the actual layout of this page, we refer to, to Rand Siegel. He's another great Webflow designer. We actually leveraged one of his tools to create this almost master doc of the type of layout you should have on your website. So if you're looking to create a one pager for a specific niche, you can do a layout similar to this. So you have your title or your headline, your subtitle, your call to action, your social proof, and then a visual, and all of that is above the fold. So that way the user can make, has enough information to make an informed decision. Then under that, you can have features and objections, more social proof, an FAQ, a second call to action and a founder's note as well. So that's gonna help you on your way. What I'll also do in the comments is I'll drop a free um, clonable template for Webflow that you can use for SaaS products or one pagers. I hope that'll help. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below, drop your questions, drop your ideas, drop your thoughts. I'm super excited and I hope this helps you in your journey to niching down. Thanks y'all. Big thank you to you for checking out the video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. Hitting the like button is a huge help because it helps the algorithm let our video be seen and help more people. Thank you all. Have a good one and I'll see you next week. Peace.